up everybody and welcome back to a beer a day with TK. It's Wednesday afternoon here in Philly, Ohio, so you know what that means? WTF Wednesday. Uh, for those of you that might be new to the program, WTF Wednesday is when I try a beer that I normally wouldn't on the program. So sometimes that means I do macro brew, sometimes malt liquor, um, sometimes I do stuff from smaller craft breweries, but maybe it's got weird flavors or weird styles. Today I have the iconic Colt 45. Now, I'm not sure what you think of when you remember Cold 45. I know Snoop Dogg is one of the spokesmen uh, for Cold 45 more recently. I think I read he was in a lawsuit against them seeking 10% of their profits. Uh, but when I was growing up, the spokesman was Billy D. Williams. I know Red Fox also did some advertising for them at some point in the past. But to me, it's always the iconic Billy D. Williams commercials. Uh, you know, obviously as a child of the 80s, I remember Billy D. as Lando Calrissian. So that had a lot of pull for me, right? Seeing Lando doing the videos. Uh, anyway, he used to do a lot of these, and I always thought it was you know, kind of interesting to see somebody like that doing uh, beer videos. I was doing some reading, and it was interesting. They were saying, you know, try to get at him, demonize him for doing beer commercials. And he said if they legalized marijuana, he'd do commercials for that, which I thought, good for you. Don't let people shame you into not doing commercials if you don't want to. Make that money, man. Uh, anyway, Colt 45. Kind of interesting, when I went to Untapped and I started looking up the brewery, it said it was from Paps Brewery out of San Antonio, Texas, but on the can it says G. Heilman um, out of, it says Milwaukee, Wisconsin. But I remember the Heilman Brewery being in La Crosse many years ago. My dad lived in La Crosse for a year, and I know they made Mickey's and all that kind of stuff out of the Heilman Brewery, and I'm sure they have multiples. Um, so I'm not sure if Paps bought up Heilman or whatever the deal is. I'm sure it's part of the Paps family now is probably why it says that. But on the can it says Heilman, so I'll stick with G. Heilman. Uh, anyway, this beer was introduced in 1963 by Baltimore-based National Brewing Company, and it's actually named after Baltimore Colts running back Jerry Hill. So I'm a big sports fan. Um, I'd never heard of Jerry Hill, so I was a little embarrassed. I went and looked him up as well. And it looks like he was a, a running back out of the University of Wyoming, played for the Colts from 1961 through 70. And again, this is starting out with the Baltimore Colts before they moved, obviously. Uh, and he's a Super Bowl winner, so pretty cool, right? You get an iconic beer named after you, a Super Bowl victory, and all that coming out of tiny University of Wyoming. Good job, Jerry Hill. Um, anyway, this beer here comes in at 5.6% ABV, 6 IBUs. The ratings on it are not good, but I mean, it's not a big surprise. Untapped it at 2.31, Beer Advocate 2.23. Um, overall, the, the rating was a 55 of awful, which is quite daunting before I even drink some of this, right? Let's check it out. Hey, it's a malt liquor. It's a cheap beer. I think Anderson picked this up at a gas station or somewhere, probably. So, I mean, it is what it is. Do I expect this to compete with uh, McKellar and all the great beers? Three Floyds? Of course not. Let's see how it stacks up against other malt liquors. I'm, I am a, an aficionado of Mickey's. I'll drink that from time to time. So let's check this one out. As expected, um, you know, kind of light pale yellow color. Head, it's at least, this is a, a large ball jar, so I fit the whole 24 ounce can in here. Um, we got about two and a half fingers of white foam. Doesn't look bad, looks all right to be fair. Fair amount of carbonation, nothing too crazy, but you can kind of, you see it bubbling away in there doing its thing. Let's give it a sniff. Not terribly inviting, smells a bit sweet. And it kind of, you know, I mean, you're dealing with adjunct lagers, you deal with malt liquors, you know that it's kind of, kind of that, I guess that corn or rice sweetness, and that's that's what it smells like. Ooh, let's give it a shot. To Billy D, rest in peace. <sighs> Big sip, ice cold out the fridge. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's kind of funny when you went to Beer Advocate. I, I always enjoy reading some of the reviews because people go off the deep end bashing beers or praising beers, and some of it's absolutely absurd. You'll see a list of 32 adjectives of what it tastes like and 74 different kinds of fruit. And I think, damn, this guy's got the most refined palate in the world. Yet he's at home, not doing anything. Hmm, maybe you're just making this shit up, my friend. Let's give this a shot again. What's it taste like? Yeah, it's a little bit sweet. It's honestly not over the top sweet like I thought it would be. A lot of times when you get the, um, you know, the adjunct lagers or, or malt liquors, they have a really 
high sweetness that I really don't care for. It's kind of a sickening sweetness. I really don't think this has it. It tastes okay. It tastes like light malt, kind of sweet, but not too sweet. Um, no real hops to speak of, no real anything else. Kind of medium to light bodied. Um, probably more on the medium, medium I would probably say. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, of all the crappy beers I've drank on Wednesdays from you know the, the macro breweries, I would probably say this is one of the better ones. Now Mickey's will always be my all-time fave as a malt liquor. I love Mickey's. Um, but this was, I don't think this is bad. I could drink this. Would I go out and buy a case of them? No, I wouldn't. But if somebody gave me one of these, it's all right. It's not a bad beer. Colt 45 on a WTF Wednesday, you get a thumbs up. I would drink another one of these. Um, hopefully, if you like the video, you give me a thumbs up, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. If you had Colt 45 or you remember the, any of the old TV commercials, let me know what you think of them. I'm going to try to pin a few of them in the comments if it lets me, because there are a couple of uh, fun ones. I saw a red fox kind of going down a uh, ski jump on his car and some other ones. So maybe I'll post them down there if you've never seen the old Colt 45 commercials. Some of them are, are kind of entertaining. Hey. Until next time, remember, Colt 45 works every time.